let's talk about uh, singing in French. And we had a whole discussion about about French before the interview. But mm -hmm. um, you sing several songs on this record in French, and I'm just yeah. curious what um, how, how you got to sing in French because you're from native Torontonian, and, yeah, and and you're singing in French, which is strange. Yeah, it's funny because I started singing in Montreal as a public person because mm -hmm. I used to sing all my life, but um, on stage. So what was the challenge about Montreal is that half the crowd is French and half is English, and you never know who's who, and you never right. know who's understanding. And I was singing in a 1920s style band where the lyrics are very tongue in cheek and it's right. pretty important that the people get what you're saying. Right. So it kind of bombed. <laughs> so I moved out to Vancouver and started doing a version of that band, but more cocktaily, more 50s than 30s. And, and it was it's so English out there that it just worked. And right. so that's when music for me just started clicking. And uh, but then I still had this sort of reverie of connecting with those French people's this unresolved kind right. of like relationship and and also I do love 60s singers and the way that French like Francois Hardy and Serge Gainsbourg have you heard of him yes from He's, another interview we did yeah, yeah a notorious uh, singer songwriter from from France who's written I don't know how many you know not hundreds, but lots and lots of records. He's a hero in France, and he's famous for his uh, for hitting on <laughs> Whitney Houston. <laughs> Do you know about that? No, he hit on okay. Whitney Houston. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, that's what and he must have been way older than her. Um, this was that's probably creepy. in the seventies. Like he's passed away now. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, hmm. so I still love singing in French, and it's a challenge for me. Right. Um, to write in French again is a big challenge, and so, and and there's a the side of me that's ex that is able to express itself right. through French that I can't in English. Also, a, a little bit of Spanish, which. Yeah, I love Spanish too. I love flamenco. I love those. Uh, I love Yiddish music. I love flamenco music. Yeah. Um, Cuban, um, like tango, hmm. waltzes, and uh, like boleros and all so those. So a lot of that 50s. And all those rhythms from, yeah. Yeah, like 20, 20s through the 50s, right? Yeah. And that's kind of um, bug tax. Bug tax, yeah. It's kind of one of those throwback tunes too, right? I guess so. I was thinking of Nora Jones when I wrote that really? one. Really? Like that kind of bluesy, folky thing yeah and um, yeah she I was thinking of a song that she might sing but right. and they always end up sounding totally different but the other amazing thing about and, and this is about Lily Frost the musician not necessarily about Viridian Torch is that so yeah. much of your music is either used in TV commercials or television shows right um, being Erica of course the theme song for that that show is, is your song and how does that all happen is that is that your manager, or is that just songs that seem well, to resonate with a large wash of, of people? I have no idea. I think um, it, it was a gradual progression. So when I first started playing music and writing and recording music, it didn't find its way into those avenues. Yeah. But, but initially what, ha what did inspire me was um, movie soundtracks. Right. And I w would go to Cinematheque all the time out in Vancouver and hear these Russian 60s soundtracks and go, oh, that's really cool, and then take that and that would be the inspiration riff or whatever. And then, so because that initially inspired the songwriting, I think right. that it found its way back t to its home. Right. In a way, not to say that being Erica is necessarily what would have inspired me, but do you know what I mean? But there's something like, very familiar just, with all of those songs. Like, you, you yeah. immediately... And, and I guess that's why a lot of popular music now is making its way back into TV commercials and stuff, is that a lot of music now seems just very familiar. Like, your music just seems very familiar. And I, I don't know why, necess why I, I think that. It just, it just happens to be that it's just a very familiar sound, which is good, right? Really? It sounds familiar? Yeah. Even the French stuff? No, not the French stuff. The French okay. stuff doesn't sound familiar, but... Like, like the bug. first song I played, or Bug yeah, Tax? Yeah, Bug Tax. Or because the first it's drawing song. from traditions yeah. of, of blues or 
things that you know yeah, most that people I are, resonate with. People. Yeah, it could be that. I don't know. Hmm. It is retro though, so that yeah. could also because it's drawing from sixties and. So let's go back even farther and talk about. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, Emily Carr. Why, why did you decide to write a song about Emily Carr? Well, um, I was really into renting movies from the library a while back, <laughs> and there was one on her, and it talked about her loneliness and her relationship with nature, right. um, which f for her, and according to this documentary, was kind of like a sensual relationship. Okay. And I explained that to Jose, and he wrote a song. He wrote that song. Oh, wow. So he, he wrote it for me to sing about her because the record was lacking a sort of um, more intimate or romantic right. element. Because when you write about people and, a, oh, I love this guy or whatever, you have that element. And But when you're writing about the wilderness, it's kind of hard to have that aspect right. expressed so I don't know I thought it was beautiful how she never found love but she always yeah did She's a in the forest tree hugger exactly <laughs> <laughs> what's so you're tu you're touring the new record and and are you going back to France too is that or possibly possibly yeah um, we are going to we'll be around Ontario we're going out to Vancouver and we'll probably, like, more and more dates are coming in right now. So right. we're just uh, ready, ready for whatever comes. Well, good luck. Thank thanks. you. Thanks. And thanks for popping by. Oh, it's good to talk to you. Sure.